Hi everyone, welcome to Healing Hands Massage and Sport Therapy Podcast, where we talk about how you can manage your pain and enhance your health. My name is Aiza Ismaila and I'm your host. Hello, hello, welcome back guys to this new episode today. Um, as I've been talking about feet on the last two episodes, I haven't talked much about what I suggest as a conclusion, as a solution or as some adjustments we can do to help prevent the two deformities, the bunions and you know. So um, this episode is still about talking about feet so it's still um, let's talk about feet recap and solution or adaptation we may call it. So um, my tip number one will be here to change shoes regularly the style of shoes you may be wearing. When I say it doesn't, you you don't need to have 10, 15 pair of shoes, but you know, if you have maybe three different style, whether they are a heel or flat. um, So um, just look at what you have as a pair of shoes. And my tip number one will be to try to change, you know, something flat, something wider, something, even though you're wearing heel, um, you know, just change just so your foot and your soft you don't get used to be in the same shape or in the same kind of pair day after day. So regularly change the pair of shoes. You know, one day you wear this one, the next day you'll be wearing something else. Um, maybe wear some trainers to drive to work. When you get to work, if you need to wear some, you know, um, more stylish, professional style, you know, shoes, um yeah wear them because maybe you have a meeting and maybe after the meeting you can wear some flat shoes or something more comfortable as you'll just be behind your desk you know try to have some you know adjustments you know challenge change it's all about trying to change so that you know there's some adjustments happening and the brain don't get used to be in a certain position and the plasticity effect doesn't happen here you just change 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 and always challenge challenge and challenge So that will be the tip number one. Um, The second one will be spend time barefoot. So as soon as you get home, take your shoes off. No socks if preferred. If you're not comfortable, you know, well, why not wear socks? But I will mention later what type of socks um, as another tip. But spend as much time possible when you're not maybe in certain condition like work uh, barefoot. Walk barefoot at home, play barefoot if you have children, why not play, um, you know, um, barefoot. If you go in a walk, for example, in the park, on the grass, uh, if you go walk on the beach, if you go, you know, and even, you know, if it's not, just maybe avoid tarmac because it might not be comfortable. But if you um, live beside, you know, a nice um, nature type area, a lot of trees, if it's comfortable, just maybe try to do a few steps. It doesn't have to be a long walk. You know, again, it takes time to get used to it. It's I find it really tough um, myself sometimes after my run, despite having those uh, five finger shoes. Sometimes I really want to feel feel uh, you know under my skin how it feels to be barefoot on the grass. It, it is great, and um, they have some as well some therapeutic benefit, and it feels bizarre. And again, it's all. It feels bizarre because it's as well how our brain get all the sensory input um, that will impact our balance and how we walk. It's coming from our feet. So yeah, play as much as you can if you have children or not. Be a bit silly, barefoot, you know, um, um, that can have as well an impact on it. Um, you can do some maybe balance exercise barefoot. You can just be standing and you know on one foot one leg and I'll be displaying or sharing some videos and I have to work on that in the future on my uh, Instagram or YouTube page um, I'll be sharing some videos so I need to work on that so I could give you some input ideas of how you can do some exercise barefoot to improve as well your balance as that will have as well an impact on it about strengthening those muscles of the sole of the foot and any other muscles, you will improve your proprioception. So the capability for those receptors on your joint, tendon, and muscle to give the information to your brain about what's happening and how you know you can strengthen their reaction, their reflexes that can as well in the future maybe prevent injury or make you stronger overall. So 
If you're not walking about outside for a walk, as I said, barefoot or even at home, you maybe just be chilling. You're sitting up, feet up after a long day. There's all the stuff you can do. So as having your foot in a shoe bring, you know, as we discussed, the big toe, for example, away from its natural alignment and bring them closer to the other toes, it's very passive because you're not doing anything. Your foot is in the shoe. But because it's something that happens day after day for so many years, yes, passively, it can have an impact on changing the shape of your foot, etc. I'm not going to go back into the detail as we discuss on the uh, episode 10. But what you can do when you get home is to um, wear some toe separators. There are silicones. So two separ- silicones, two separators. Um, it's something very thin. It's silicones. So you can be sitting you know, feet up and you can just put them on and they will just brace each toes and bring them apart from one another, which will prevent them to kind of brace and cross each other. I've seen a lot of toes that just kind of wants to cross what, like cross one another. And that is some dysfunction that needs to be addressed. And wearing, you know, toes, separators and silicones has a passive effect. But let's say you do that, you walk barefoot as soon as you get home, you do your, you know, you do your cooking, you do, you, you take care of whatever you need to do. And then when you actually put your feet up, finally, you can wear those two separators. And that as well is passive. You don't do anything. But they kind of help to bring your toe apart rather than together as they are on a regular and daily basis in the shoe. So um, that will be my tip number three. And it's something which is good. Uh, I will provide the link of an example. You can look at it on Amazon or eBay. So it's a toe separator and they are silicone. So they really embrace uh, each toes. So really each of them to bring them in a... Apart. All right. So I will, um, when I will publish this um, episode on my website in the podcast section, I usually write down a little bit a transcription of the episode for those who prefer to read, uh, even though things are written in a different way. But I will put a picture of how that looks and maybe a link as an example. So then you can do your own research. And if you want to buy a different one, it's up to you. But at least you'll see about what I'm talking about and what I mean by that. So the other adjustment you can do to separate toes will be um, you can have the similar aspect than toe separator silicones. But this time it will be a sock. So um, you can look online again at sock separators. Again, you can check on Amazon and I will share a link in the picture so that you guys can see how it looks and it could be a way to um again you can walk around it, the house with it i have a pair myself but they're white so i have to wash them for very little because they get very dirty very quickly i'll cut that part so i have a pair myself um it's very comfortable to walk in it's bizarre because yeah it brings each toe apart from one another again but it's just a way to uh, counterbalance what is happening when our foot is in a shoe so i think it's a good way to counterbalance it another way you can do as well is when you wear maybe trainers or you wear some even casual shoes um more maybe comfortable but you can wear socks with it so if you can wear a pair of shoe with socks instead of wearing your usual pair sock uh, you can uh, look online again and there is what's called a uh, toes sock so toe sock um they it's a, it's a sock but again like my five finger shoes they take the shape of each toe separately so don't get me wrong it takes maybe a bit longer to put them on because you need to put each toe in each of them it's like wearing a glove but the same way but for your feet but honestly at least you're wearing a pair of sock but at least your toes are not you know in the same bag and again put all together so you can be wearing trainers or wearing some type of comfortable shoes cd shoes and have that under and you know your toes feel a bit more freer they have their own each toe has 
is on the cover rather than having the full sock which all bring them together that could be another another tip and again it's passive so you're not doing anything and for those who don't feel comfortable walking barefoot uh, skin on the floor at home at least get maybe those socks those two socks there are yes more expensive than normal sock um i think there can be around 10 pounds maybe for just three pair or sometimes you know um yeah just around that so it is more expensive than other type of socks true but um it can have a definite impact on your uh so in these apps i will just talk about some tips adjustments changes you can do so some can be done actively and some passively so i think it's important that we take everything we can take on board about passively you don't do anything you just wear them you can do whatever else you need to do during your day or but you just wear that for a couple of hours and um that may have an impact on you know re-educating your nervous system to not get used to be on one position you know so uh why not taking it why not invest in a barefoot type of shoes? So mine look ridiculous, yes, but you know what? I like them because I love being barefoot. So even though they look bizarre because they take the shape of each toe, you don't have to go with the fibrum, five finger type of um, shoe. You can go with other type of brand. There's a lot in the market. As an example, I would mention Vivo Barefoot. And Vivo Barefoot do, they have normal shoes and they have even some CD shoes shoes or boots so they really have expanded a uh, different collection there is for running for being active some kind of city shoes and some are look like boots and very casual but still are very flexible um wide to, to let really the space for the toes to be and enough uh, thin enough for your brain to Again, again, gain the sensor input necessary to uh, strengthen our foot and to walk properly. So do your own research. I'm just stating, you know, uh, Vivo Barefoot as an example, because I have been looking at this brand myself and I'm looking at buying in the future as one of their shoes. Yeah, the price is around £100 on average. Um, I would highly recommend you maybe to invest in a barefoot type of shoes. And as mentioned, as an example, you can find the five fingers. If they are for runners, they do some for yoga practice or Pilates or even gym. And then uh, as a last tip here, the seventh one will be to here be more actively doing some um, foot, you know, foot exercise and toe exercise that I I will be as well sharing online as I've been working on them and as I said it is tough you know when you try to just look at your feet sit down and just look at your feet and just try to only only move your big toe to you know to bring your big toe towards you so into um extension you'll see that your brain will try will action all toes together you will bring all toes together which is funny because you have one muscle for the big toe and you have one muscle for all the other fourth So we should be able to move only the back toe when we ask our brain to do so, but he just can remember. So it's just all about practice. So yes, I'll be sharing some video of these and you can look online. There's other specialists, other professionals sharing them, whether it's on Instagram or even YouTube and sharing a lot of tips about, you know, toe flexion, extension, adduction, abduction, how you can just try to work those toes separately it's all about to action them separately it's not one block they can work separately so we need to train them separately and it's not a difficult it just takes time it just takes repetition uh, consistency and um yeah it's all about trying to to do it over and over again so this is my list today as a solution or let's say adaptation because you know you may try them but it may take years and years sometimes before you will see the change and it's about doing them quite regularly uh if not every day every so often because we wear shoes quite every day so yes this is why i highly recommend at least those passive adjustment such as two separator silicones or two um socks um or at least you know um two sock separator as well that is something you could do every day you can wear them every day even for an hour or two and that will still be